Uh, the government has pledged to work with the private sector to actualize the universal health coverage UHC goal in the country, highlighting the significance of strong investment in local pharmaceutical production and medical supplies. President William Ruto made the remarks while commissioning the Meds Microbiology Laboratory in Siokimau, Machakos County, where he emphasized that this step will enable Kenya to competitively manufacture drugs for the domestic market, enhancing universal access to quality healthcare. And as Grace Ahati now reports, the government has also promised to review the tax regime and the cost of doing business in the health sector, as well as prioritize the purchase of medical supplies from local manufacturers to support the growth. President William Ruto has commissioned the country's second microbiology laboratory, which is set to enhance testing for microbial contamination in medical products. The private laboratory, which is located at Sukimau Machakos County, is set to complement services offered by the National Quality Control Laboratory, the only public chemical testing laboratory in the country, which has been offering assistance to other pharmaceutical companies. Speaking while commissioning the state-of-the-art facility, Ruto noted that the private sector is key to attainment of universal health coverage UHC in the country. The government will work with the private sector to actualize universal health. We will review the tax regime and cost of doing business in the pharmaceutical sector to make Kenya a regional pharmaceutical manufacturing hub. And as I said, Apart from what we will be doing in our special economic zones, apart from ensuring that we prioritize local manufactured uh, commodities in our purchase, we will also continuously uh, work with R&Ds to make sure that we not only supply our medical uh, commodities to Kenya, but we also have a hub around here so that we can supply to the rest of the globe. According to him, the government will thus review the tax regime and the cost of doing business in the health sector, as well as prioritize the purchase of medical supplies from local manufacturers to support its growth. Going forward, local manufacturers take precedence over imports, with 36% of that being directly from local manufacturers. Local manufacturing is essential to UHC. Lowering the cost of drugs and medical supplies will make the system sustainable, it will make it affordable, and it will make it work for everybody. The president further highlighted that the government has adopted advanced technology to curb corruption and the wastage of health resources, declaring that technology will enhance the transparency and accountability in the National Social Health Insurance Fund, NSHIF, formerly the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF. The era of wastage and pilferage and theft and corruption must be firmly behind us. And we want to leverage on technology. We are willing as government to support meds in the rollout of technology. If, if you need our support around technology to make sure that you manage your ecosystem from supply from one end all the way to delivery on the other end, we are currently working with KEMSA to make sure that technology becomes part of the equation and becomes an enabler. Later on, the president inspected the progress of the 3,500 units high-rise affordable housing project in Kibra, noting that the government is on course to offering decent shelter to the people of Kibra and other informal settlements across the country. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch. I'm Grace Ahati.